as John Lee used to say, when you meditate, you want the right object, which is the breath. You write the intention, the intention to stay here, watching the breath coming in, watching the breath going out. And the right quality, trying to make the breath comfortable. Realize that it's not just in, out, in, out, but it's in long or in short, in fast, out, out slow, heavy, light, deep, shallow. There are lots of different ways of breathing. And there must be some way of breathing that's comfortable right now. Look for it. Be content to make this the area in which you're going to look for happiness. As the Buddha said, contentment is a blessing. If you can find happiness, you can find well-being in little things like this, things that you already have, things that you don't have to receive from other people. Then you can find happiness wherever you go. It's a strength. All too many people have their happiness depend on things outside being just like this, just like that. The weather has to be like this, the economy has to be like that, the people around me have to be like this. If that's your attitude, you're going to be really weak. Your happiness is a hothouse happiness. It can be happy only under very certain, clearly defined circumstances. And then when people change those circumstances, you're, you become their slave. You want them to change things back. But if you can find happiness in simple things like this, just the fact that you're breathing in, breathing out, that you can be aware of the present moment, then your happiness doesn't have to depend on anyone else at all. So look for happiness in the things that are nearby. This way you bless yourself, because that's what blessing means. It makes you blissful. You don't have to wait for somebody else to come and say a blessing. You look for happiness in the right ways, and you bless yourself. So find ways of gladdening the mind. You breathe in a way that feels good. If the breath isn't comfortable, you can sit and think about the other things that make you happy in life. Start with the fact that you've had people who've been supporting you all along. Your parents to begin with, teachers, other people who've helped, helped you find this life, get established in this life, learn the skills that you need in order to be happy in this life. So other people have invested in you. you know, so take some happiness in that. Of course, when you think about the good that they've done for you, you should be grateful. This too, the Buddha said, is a blessing. Because if all you can think about is how difficult life has been and how life has been nothing but a struggle, it reduces hu human life to the animal level. And there's very little happiness to be found on that level. Lift your mind to the level where you realize, okay, people have been helping one another. And this is what makes human life a a good thing to have, human society, a good place to live. And you're part of that society. And so you just realize that your happiness depends on the help of, help of other people. You want to repay them. If they're still around, you want to look after their needs. If they're not still around, the best thing you can do is continue practicing the skills that they taught you. Make sure they don't die out from this world. So we think about the Buddha and all that he did in order to establish the Dharma and how a lot of our happiness depends on taking that dharma and practicing it. So we should be grateful for him, and the way we show our gratitude to him, of course, is to practice the dharma in accordance with the dharma. And we're content to do that. When you find happiness in the right places, then you can be content wherever you go. Of course, contentment here means being content with material things outside, and content with the conditions that you have to deal with. But you don't stay content just sitting right there. The real way to find happiness, to real, find real contentment, is to develop the mind as much as you can. So that inner resources get developed, and then when they're developed, then you have a source of happiness inside that you can take with you wherever you go, and it's not going to let you down. That's why contentment and gratitude are said to be the two of the two of the great blessings in the Buddha's list. Great blessings. They're simple things, they're right nearby. But when your happiness depends on simple things that are right nearby, then it's really secure.